we been on the road? Mm, like three. We are finally here. Mm -hmm. What a stressful journey. Is feeling very stressed and she doesn't want to vlog. But I'm gonna carry out this one and take one for the team <laughs> and put the effort in when she I'll doesn't want to. I'll appreciate it at the end. I'm just really stressed because we're late. We're late by the by late. She means she wanted to be here at quarter past and it's ten minutes past. That's so untrue. I wanted to be here at 9 o'clock. I wanted to finish walking show jumping. I got a Bye. So today we are off eventing at Flores Castle. Oh my god, this venue is stunning. We came here yesterday to watch Emma with Fendi do her 90 course. So we got to walk the course yesterday, thank god, because it would have been a really early one today if we hadn't walked the course yesterday. And it's stunning. We've never been here before, ever. Oh my ever. god, it's so beautiful. Yesterday was a lot sunnier than this, so I got a little bit burnt if you've seen all my stories. But um, yeah, very excited to see how the 80 runs today, because this is the first time they've ever done an 80, and I kind of have regrets for not entering it. I really wish I had. But, um, it does look really, really nice, but it does. Going on as well. it's yeah, really busy it's a busy one. Yeah, there's um, lots of stalls and things like that. Yeah, I was about to say it's kind of like country fair sort of, which we love. Loads and loads of yeah, summer vibes. Food. Put you in a good mood, eh? Yeah, lovely. Some really good food. You'll be seeing that later. So here is the show jumping. This course here. This is a wee arena event. They're also running at the same time, so it's super busy. Um, look at this view. Oh my god, Emma got the castle in the back of her photos yesterday and it's just actually stunning. So we're hoping for this for Joanna today. But yeah, we're going to go watch some show jumping just to learn the course because I don't think you can walk it right now. And we're in a t tad bit of a rush. So this is where all the stalls and things are. Later on it'll be definitely bustling, but it's still quite quiet right now. It's still early. Whew. You can tell it's early. It's like very chilly. Beautiful. Okay, I think she's feeling a bit better. We've just watched a couple of people do the show jumping and it's literally like the easiest course. It just like runs around the outside yeah, of the arena. Yeah, after Fargan it was Ooh. a jump that everyone seemed to miss out. Um, it was just like a wee bit of a like, twisty turny course. Yeah, it was. Um, so I felt a bit yeah. anxious about making sure that I knew the show jumping well, but it actually seems all right. Yeah, yeah it looks really chill. Easy. Very easy to remember. So yay, time to I go. I hate saying all these things like, oh yeah, like it's quite a <laughs> nice know. course. Like, In case you so totally forget where you're going. <laughs> Everything will go wrong for you. So we are on for dressage after a little bit of a issue with Joanna's bit. Well, Blondie's bit. Joanna had it upside down. down. <laughs> please don't panic everyone and think like, oh, that's why you've been posting about your bit. Maybe yeah, like, it's only been like that for like a day. Like yeah, been a couple yeah. of days because I was trying like a billion different Yeah, things. but close call. Very close call. Very looking, very looking, looking very smart. Imagine it was like that and we got 20 dressage then. I know, like, that'd be a new thing. We could make a new bit yeah, that goes upside down instead. And but, innovative design. Innovative. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Everyone okay. Keeps fun of me. Okay, let's go. Come on, blonde. Let's go. Dressage time. I'm gonna go crazy and bronk her off. Oh my Why god. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? So we're heading up to dressage. You literally have to come away from all the trailers and stuff and come into the woods. Seems weird. It's like we're on a hack. But it opens up at the top and it's beautiful. So. The warm up for dressage is gorge, and it's so far away from the jump in, which is lush. So. Blondie seems very chilled out, touch wood, but um, yeah, she's only got two before her, but I think she's got quite a lot of time. Joanna, you've only got two in before you. Okay, she looks concerned. And they're running five minutes late. Oh, okay, well there's two in front of you. Martin, you can head down. And then these are the dressage boards. don't know who to record. This one or this one. I'm not sure which one Blondie is. Oh. There she is. There she is. Ah, definitely Blondie. I guess that's what we're here for, isn't it? This is a bad time. <laughs> this is a bad time. Yeah. Why? Oh, one of the fleets came out. Oh, crud. Well, I don't see. I don't see either. I don't see. Where? Oh goodness. Joanna's in a bad mood. Let's just cut the vlog. 
so Joanna's having a bit of a mare. Um, I just think she's getting a bit depressed about the fact that her dress has just been going so rubbish recently. Like she used to school so nicely and um, she can school so nicely. So they're just going through a bit of a blip right now, which I think a lot of people go through. I know everybody goes through at some point um, and horses are horses, but it has been lasting like quite a while that she's been struggling with it. So um, yeah, she's feeling a bit deflated, but hopefully she goes in there and she's quite chill. I think all she wants is for her to be actually like rideable and have some few nice moments. So. So that's Joanna in, she's just having a wee trot around before they beep the horn or ring the bell or whatever it is they do and then she'll head in. It's quite a long test that she's doing, there's a lot of like changes of rain and transitions and yeah so hopefully it's good because it'll keep Blondie's mind busy so fingers crossed. Too bad, like tense wise, compared to um, Fork and Denny. We're going to do like four steps of walk. Definitely could have been worse. Mm. Wee bit speedy, but like other than that. So Joanna is on for show jumping, she's all changed and she is heading off to the warm up but she has to go the long way so me and Cameron are walking to go and get some food and then go and meet her at the warm up but yeah I think she's feeling a bit like stressy and things but 
It's now the fun part for her because Blondie loves her jumping, so I'm sure that she'll be in a better mood. <laughs> Bit time. Ching ching. We're hoping that Joanna's not in yet because uh, she will literally kill me if I miss her show jumping around. Oh my god, that was so good to watch. <laughs> she got clear in the show jumping. Oh my god, I'm getting milkshake all over my hands. But um, it's not even milkshake, it's nice coffee. Don't know what I'm on about. But um, yeah, that was really nice to watch. She was so confident and I'm sure she'll be outside buzzing. Oh, yeah, you happy? Mad how much like right, something like that going right puts a smile on your face. I know, definitely. It's like a good pony, it's just so frustrating. Oh, you got um, a 38.5. Yeah, yeah, I text you. But Cammy has your phone. <laughs> and he takes back. I know. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> well done. Someone's just stopped Joanna to ask what colour blonde is. <laughs> She's just so dark. But um, yeah, lots of nice things to say about her as well. She's a cracking me pony. I think everyone's just surprised at how much jump she has. Okay. She's on. Look at these colours. How cute are they? Brand new colours. Very Baby cute. Pink for the and Blonde has a wee nose strip on to help with her breathing. She does have COPD and she looks like a proper wee event whore. Does she? So cute. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Oh, looking very Hopefully smart. It helps eh? Hopefully it helps. Yeah, I know. She just had an energy shot, so she's good to go. She doesn't look at like. She looks a bit sleepy. I can see Joanna going off to the to the warm up, and we are going to try and find somewhere to take some good videos. Hello, um, because it's such a long course that I'm not sure we'll manage to get that far. Like, it would probably take us about half an hour to walk over there. Oh god, look how big this ditch is. Luckily, Joe doesn't have to do this. So I have found my wee spot. Joanna's going to still be in the warm up, so I've sat down. How gorgeous is it? It's roasting. I'm honestly sweating so much. I need to go back to the car after this and change my top because um, it's a bit warm. But um, I'm sitting at this lovely brush fence and then behind me I can run over and there's a wee roll top and a wee step up so I can get a couple of fences. And I've left Kami where he can do the same thing, kind of like going between a couple of fences. So hopefully she'll get a couple of videos that she likes, fingers crossed. I like the look of this jump so I thought I'll sit here, I'll get a good video. I could honestly watch other people cross doing cross country all day every day. Look, here's a wee done like G. This will be us soon. Flying. I could honestly sit here forever. Like, look at the view that I'm looking at. Watching absolutely stunning horses going by. This is the dream. Oh, here comes another one. I love it. I've been videoing everyone and then looking up their numbers on event score and then sending it to them. Here she comes. Yeah. Woo! Go, Jojo! <laughs> Oh. Four minutes thirty-five. Third 
Come on, Jojo. So the 14th now, the Joanna Taylor, of course, Karen Buttercup. seen it anyway she was absolutely flying and i'm 99.9% sure she was clear um oh god beautiful i cannot wait to see those photos because she just looked so confident she was absolutely flying over everything oh jeezy peeps what a day um i must apologize for being a bit able most of this vlog i mean i think i've probably technically been the star of the vlog but i've not had much involvement with the vlog if that makes sense <laughs> I am, um, yeah, oh, I'm so stressed this morning. I think we, we took a wrong turn driving and then we were 20 minutes late. And I think I've just been on edge because she had a more tiresome cross country at Forgan Denny and she also had a really bad dressage at Forgan Denny. So I just kind of like, I really hope it's better than that, especially with it being such a beautiful venue. Like I really just wanted like a nice day where like everything was kind of like, going sweetly. Yeah, so when we were late and could walk the show jumping and then went up to the dressage and she was completely wired and stuff, I was like, why not again? But, um, you know, with dressage it's really, really difficult because you feel like it's different than it actually looks sometimes. Um, and I, I found it like quite a disappointing dressage, especially because I know she can go so well. I say this all the time, but I promise she can. Um, so yeah, I thought it was worse than it was because Claire was like, no, that was so, so much better than Forgan Denny. I was like, was it though? Like, it still felt really messy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I didn't want to watch the video back. But then when I was over at the show jumping, somebody told me my score of 38.5. So I was buzzing with that. Like anything in it's like in the 30s is just like amazing for me just now. Like really, really, really happy with that. Um, I know a lot of people wouldn't be, but I am. Um, especially because I've gotten a 42 and a 49 before so like I am really really happy with that um, especially for her like being a bit more buzzed so yeah that was lenient the judge was nice to me there <laughs> but as you can see I have just done my favourite phase we have just been cross country and again I had so many worries about her being like a bit too tired or too slow because last time she was and it took a lot out of her so I was like come on Blondie keep going she was amazing she flew around the course like absolutely like demolished it she was loving life and meant that I was loving life too so I'm so 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 happy with her um and I have my new colors on which is very very exciting uh now we are just chilling Cammy's taking out her pleats you struggling a bit there I think he's struggling a bit there but um blondie could have went again honestly once we finished she's definitely got her fitness up um she had her flare strip on her nose to help her breathe because she's got copd obviously um and we gave her an energy shot as well <gasps> some freaking person <laughs> blondie thought i was gonna kick her oh my um, god look at my burn first we're <laughs> sun cream girls <laughs> not good not good oh That's it's atrocious um, I think that's yeah, so as I was saying, we gave her an energy shot before and certainly didn't need to today because she was just like flying completely. And I believe that our cross country time was like 50 seconds too fast. But 
you didn't know. I think what we need to do is get your stopwatch and practice for that. Because I think if we you do. Did, like, she's not uncontrollable. No, not like, at if all. If you knew you were going too fast, you would have slowed yeah. up. You, just you know what? Time. Any time that she kind of did slow her pace just slightly, I just started to feel a bit anxious. Like, even at jump like number like three, four, five, if yeah, she just she was, like, like slowed down a little bit, I'd be like, no, I like, keep going. And she's like, and okay. And I'm watching like, no, she also can chill out. <laughs> oh, no, but, um, that's all you want. Is this yeah, exactly. And we got to ride in front of Floor's Castle, oh my God, which is stunning. what the aim of the day was. I think and photos soon. Photos soon. Yeah, I think I was really nervous about the other two phases because I was like so desperate to ride this cross country course. Yeah. Yeah. Like out of all the cross country courses, I was like, please let me do this one. And we got to do it. Unreal. Colony fries, chips, colony fries. God, no, stop it! <laughs> What's the number plate? Oh, <laughs> number plate. So it's home time for us. We have just been waiting, which is amazing, for the print off photos. They have like the wee prints, like the stand that prints off the photos. So look at Joanna's photo! Oh, oh actual beautiful. How stunning <laughs> is so that? Nice. We're absolutely with the castle in the background, eh? After I know. seeing Emma's yesterday, I was like, please, Lord. I know. Over that last jump, I was like, focus, focus. It's real, it's real. I know. Oh, 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 it's such a nice, nice. thing and to then have after a good day. I ordered two others, um, which are coming to my email just yeah. for the online stuff. Yeah, for Instagram um, and stuff. So that's yeah, fabby. Oh, that's oh, the best end to a day when you get a good photo. Right. And while we were doing that, Cammy is just chilling with Wandy under a tree. It's been such a warm day. I actually think it's been warmer than yesterday. So yeah, definitely time to head home instead of waiting around. But it's been so nice. It's actually just made me so nervous slash excited, but mostly excited to do my BE debut next month. Oh my God, I can't even believe I'm saying that. So um, yeah, a lot of the jumps are actually the same here as they will be at my one. So I'm hoping for a nice fall. If I don't get one, I'll be absolutely good, but. <laughs> Wow, she's still got a load of running in her. Now a long trip back. Two and a half hours to get back. I'm gonna try and sleep in the car. See, as the like driver and rider and everything. I know it's draining. It's a lot. We need to like start driving for each other or something. I know on days where yeah. Although I think that might be me taking the short straw since I've never been. You take me out. <laughs> Bye floors. See you next year, hopefully. Definitely. Home sweet home and she is scoffing her recovery mash, but she refuses to eat it unless I hold it up for her because she's a big princess. Aren't you? Slavers <laughs> everywhere. Thank God I wasn't doing this when I was actually competing. Are you done? She does this and then she wants more. Blondie has been such a good girl today and I'm loving her little curly mane as usual. <laughs> but that's me just way to turn her out because, oh, I feel so bad on her. She's been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of standing about today, um, but she also definitely had a lot of fun. Oh, she's showing me up. She's actually having it off the floor now. <laughs> Pretty girl. Women on a mission to her field. <laughs> Can't tell if she's raring to go cross country again or whether she's just absolutely buzzing to be home with her friends again. Such a lovely night. It's a couple of days after floors and I just wanted to give a little summary of the day um, and apologise to you guys for not putting much effort into that vlog. Um, yeah, just wasn't one of my most um, jolly days from the get go. And then, um, yeah, everything got a lot better by halfway through the day but by then I was still in a bit of a rush for like getting to and from places so I didn't get to video much but luckily Claire carried the show and hopefully it was a decent enough vlog for you guys and um, I enjoyed editing it and reliving it as well. As you know I got a little bit frustrated at the dressage and um, Blondie was like she wasn't like overly wound up but she just 
wasn't really listening, she was going too fast, she was really distracted, she wasn't bending um, and that was just the warm up and then we went out and done our test and as I said earlier I definitely thought it that it felt a lot worse than it actually looked because I've rewatched the video now and I was like oh that really was not as bad as Fork and Denny and that's what I was worried about like getting as bad a mark as both of my Fork and Denny's or like just looking really 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 messy again um last time I just laughed it off but this time I was like please blondie come on show them what you're made of <laughs> so yeah um she did do her best and it wasn't great by any means but we got a decent enough score and I came away like feeling a lot better because it was like over and done with and it wasn't like a proper state so that's always good <laughs> and then we went on to the show jumping and she jumped a really really lovely clear Um, I was really happy with the way she was going Um, a little bit speedy but that's just the way she goes and she was picking her feet up really really well over all the jumps and it was really really busy as well around the show jumping and I was worried about her getting distracted and she didn't. She really paid attention to me and listened and yeah, she was really, really fab. I came away like buzzing after that. Um, that really put a smile on my face. And then over to the cross country. Um, it certainly wasn't the most challenging 80 I've ever done, uh, but I was just buzzing to be out there in front of the castle. It was the most beautiful thing. Oh, I can't, oh. I can't even put it into words, it was just incredible. Um, and we started off jump number one pretty sticky and then she flew round the rest of the course. I think sometimes they just need to get into the swing of it, but yeah, she went over absolutely every jump, um, completely flying as you can see from the video. She's taken strides out left, right and centre, um, crazy little mare. So something exciting has happened. I have booked my first 90 at Hopeton the day before Claire's first ever BE. So, oh my God, June's going to be crazy. So yeah, that's going to be uh, wild for both of us. Um, that should make for a really good vlog as well. I'm so excited for that weekend. It'll be amazing. But yeah, overall, Floors Castle, I wish I was <laughs> more settled during the day so I could have made a better vlog for you guys. But it was still like such an amazing fun day and Blondie made me so, so proud um, by the end of it. She just, she was incredible and she was getting so many compliments. She was just lovely. And um, she was also really, really settled there, which is so nice when they're just like standing at the trailer so chilled and... Um, yeah, I could just tell that she had a really, really fun time as well. So that's always good. So next up, we have a couple of vlogs coming. We have another fashion vlog coming. And then we also have Claire's first ever ODE one day event at Forrester Seat. So that is this weekend coming. And I'm not sure what's going to come first, but definitely stay tuned. Um, like, subscribe, share, just the usual stuff. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.